All right. In theory. Fine, can you give a recap? All righty then. Uh, first off, last time we, uh, started off with Rearble storming off in a very, in a very angry, uh, he was not having fun. Uh, then he got caught, then he had his emotions calmed by, uh, basically his nan. Yeah, basically, godmother slash and or grandmother, basically. Yeah, and, uh, they went into the Great Mine. Dwarves are not very creative with their naming. <laughs> uh, which is a place that Rearbull had never been before, but had always wanted to be in. Because on- I'm pretty sure only uh, miners, the the rock and stone type, not the children type, are allowed in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exactly the rock and stone type, except without, instead of guns, they have, like, crossbows or axes or yeah. axes or axes. <laughs> and uh, then uh, we fought a snail, an anti-magic snail, flail snail, I believe it was. Yep. Um, thing is, Seth fucked up. Yep. They didn't realize that Arithia could carry the shell. And now mm-hmm. we have, what, like 20, like 20,000 gold just sitting on Arithia's back right now? I think it was 21,000. Mmm, <laughs> Money. Uh, give me a second, I'll pick a number that's close that you can divide by four. Yeah. Uh, we, we already decided it last time. Yes, but I can bullshit my way out of this. Hmm, fair. While you're doing that, I'm going to keep with the recap. Uh, had yes. a rest. Um, and then fucking, uh... We got attacked by Kozier's best friend ever, the sh- a shadow a, a shadow wizard or whatever. Yep. Sh- uh, shadow, shadow wizard money gang. Shadow wizard money gang. Give me a second. I'll find the damn name. Uh, it's, in my wor- it's in my world numbs notes somewhere. But yeah, uh, apparently Kozier has a part of his stick. Dagrafal. That's who he was. Yes, that motherfucker who I will never who I will never <laughs> acknowledge by name ever again. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love uh, casting spells. And then we love casting and, spells. And then Claire in her infinite brain fucking decided to anger the mysterious shadowy voice. Leading to a uh fight against the mimic. <laughs> the mimic. <laughs> Otherwise known as uh, the shadows of our group. Yes. And that both is... both Rearble and Arithia got nat twenties on their uh, on the ones that they were f- uh, on their shadows. Thing is, that you can't you can't kill your own shadow. Mm-hmm. So we brought so both of us brought our shadows down to one health each. Yep. Uh, we did that, and then I believe we ended it there. Uh, yeah. And Re- 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 Rearbull is wounded, but he he's gonna get his dad back. Mm-hmm. And uh, I will... Really yeah, I will see. I believe you'll have a health potion still on you. Uh, I Except for Claire, I believe you drank yours. Yeah. Uh, I drank... One of my two, I now have. Yeah. One more. Okay. I I have I I do have one. I'm going to drink it now. Yep. Okay. Roll me two d four plus two. Oh. Okay then. Actually, no. I saw a way of doing that. Uh, in combat, it's two d four plus two. Uh, out of combat, you can just take the max because you drank drink like all of it. All right. So that's uh like, ten. Ten. Yep. Ooh, I'm back uh, up to 25. Perfect. Me? Awesome. I have those weird potions. Yes, you do. I don't think I should drink them. Uh, do you want to roll a medicine check? 
Uh, sure. Roll me a medicine check. Let's see. Oh, that's wisdom. I'm good at that. Mm-hmm. I have a DC for this. Nat 20. <laughs> well, you know they act like normal health potions, but there would be something odd with them. You can tell it's not exactly... It's not negative, but you can also tell it's not positive. Hmm. It's neutral. Neutral chaos on top of a, on top of a health potion? Hmm. There goes our nat twenty for the fucking for the session. <laughs> I th I think I'll just stick with a normal health potion. No, no. Yep, you can drink a normal health potion. Uh, yep. Wait, I will, and. Uh, I believe he'll be heading off towards deeper into the mines. No? Yes. Thanks. Yeah. You head in deeper and deeper and deeper still. Um, Arifia and Claire, you two don't have dark vision. Dancing lights. Oh, right. You have dancing lights. Forgot about that. <laughs> yep. Nope, you're fine. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck all my clients, apparently. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Get, I'm gonna say that like slightly sassier every single time. Because <laughs> every time you can't, you you don't have like uh, dancing lights, obviously. <laughs> Eventually, you're just a fucking valley girl. Just pull, I, like uh, dancing lights. Note to self: like, use oh my darkness. God, Rebecca. <laughs> no. Use spell darkness lots. Dispel magic! <laughs> God! <laughs> counter spell. Can a counter spell dispel magic? Yes, you can. I said, are you. <laughs> mm hmm. I am. Excellent. Just if wait, I'm in darkness and can cast counter spell, spell your counter spell. Counter spell. I don't think. I can't counter spell. Hold up. I actually need to know that information because I'm going to have counter spell because that's literally how this. Counter that's spell how can counter works. any spell uh, cost. That you can see within range. That you can see? Within range. Yes. So they must have dark vision. <laughs> they have to have the ability to see through magical darkness. You know, you do know what shadow sorcerers get, right? Yes. Ah. <laughs> they can see through their own magical darkness. Correct. Blind them. Anyway. Oh, they're short first, they have proficiency in constitution saves. True. Anywho. Yeah. We can go down this path for, like, hours. Um, I'm going to ask you all to make me a survival check. Oh, uh, we... golly gee willikers. Or survival or perception, um, variable with advantage. Oh, because dwarf. Why isn't my mic working? Yep. Hello? Hi. Yes, Hi. There you are. Welcome have back. You, have you been here this entire time? Hello. How there? silent have I been? Very. Um, How long have I been silent for? A little bit. A while. Don't tell me I've been silent the entire time. No. Fourteen. Uh, uh, since since we started this after making fun of America. Oh, yeah. For fuck's sake. You had so many Americans. things to say. Because I went on, it's because I went on that radar website. The government, the ah. FBI, is stopping me from playing D and D. Uh, anyway, that's an eighteen. I, I wish that that website was as accurate as you. Know, eighteen as I would like it to of be. fourteen. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pull up this thingy, mo bobber. Survival check, did you say? Survival, Survival or, or perception. perception. I'm going to do perception. I, have... I don't do my job. I have like my one thing. I have plus two or plus two. Hmm, what should I go hmm. for? This I think you're plus, plus two. two. <laughs> it didn't matter. I got a fucking ten. Hey, well, <laughs> that's still pretty basic. Uh, give me a second. I'm just uh, 
Now doing some things down. Yep. All right. Uh, how much? Ten. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Ten. Eighteen. And fourteen. Um, anyone above a fifteen? Um, you can. You hear something. Uh, it's that car. I believe. I believe. Claire might be familiar with the sounds of someone being tortured. Oh, she might be. I'm going to say you are because you're. I can hear Rebel just like getting more and more angry. <laughs> He's starting oh, to cry. Like, no, happy on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Claire, I'm going to say you're familiar with the sound of torture. You were in prison for. You were dealing with judgments and legal things for a while. Yes. Yeah. You think you would hear someone being imprisoned, or uh, tortured specifically? Do I recognize the screams? Oh, you recognize those screams. They're your dads. <sighs> could multi-class into barbarian with all this anger. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> Anyways, what do you want to do? Nothing beats uh, a dwarf run, for, run towards the screams! Oh, do we have to? <laughs> a natural <laughs> reaction. Follow the screams! Follow the screams! Why is the devil following the pretty butterflies? <laughs> yes. Yes, we have to. As this is a requirement. <laughs> you signed up for this. You dug. You opened this can of worms, I'll lie in it. Oh, I hate worms. <laughs> Same. We'll burn that bridge when we cross it. Yep. We'll burn that bridge when we're on it. Even better. Uh, awesome. Uh, if Get you're talking, screen. you can't hear you because you're silent. I'm not talking. Okay. All right. Making sure you but, didn't uh, have a gold moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Arithia is chasing after rear belt. Yeah. Well, I say chasing. She's mildly jogging with him. Re Rearbull is, Rearbull is not, is not able to dash all the way because, due to some recent activities, he gets winded very easily. Yeah. So he's trying to conserve his uh, sprinting. Yeah, but uh, after say like thirty seconds, you do uh, arrive at a in a room. Uh, the room is lit up. Uh, by basically magical crystal torches. Uh, looks like a fairly standard stone room. Um, except for a couple of things. Uh, there's a dwarf tied to a chair here. Fair, sounds right. Papi! Yes. Uh, this is a... Well, looks like a fairly standard dwarf. Uh, with a finely braided beard. Uh, seems to be graying in some spots. Uh, and you also see a bold human standing over him with a whip. I need a... Mm, I, I need a grab... I need vicious mockery so bad. These are those times. <laughs> ah, and the rescue party arrives. He kind of looks at all of you. Perfect. Exactly the people who I wanted to have here. Let's so. Go. No. Oh, don't like it when someone messes with your family members. Well, I would like to make an active perspective. I would like to make an active active perception check while he's uh, talking. Sure. Let me perception check. Um, Nothing says trap like cocky people in a room. You can continue monologuing while I'm rolling. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he's just going at uh, people like, so how does it feel to se have someone you love hurt? Ah, 15. 15. 
Um, what exactly are you looking for? I am looking around the room to see if he has laid in this room with some uh, with traps or uh, sneaky uh, sneaky backup in the rafters because he he's being real cocky for someone who who's alone in the room with one hostage. Um, well, there's nothing really in the room per se. Um, you do notice two things on him. Uh, you see, he ha- he is holding a spell casting focus. Got a caster. And you see a ring that is strangely familiar. Strangely. Roll me a history check. I would love to. Could it be the ring? Is it the one ring? No, this is... Do I look like I know about Lord of the Rings? This is definitely not a copy of Lord of the Rings. What are you on about, folks? No, back? seriously, I have not read any of those books. Neither have I. I. I've not neither. even watched the films. Me either. Me neither. There's a the point for you. Yeah, um, yeah, you've seen this ring before. Is this is the ring? same kind of wedding band that was on the white. Ah, I see. You're the uh, Emperor's assistant's lover, I see. We are both assistants to the Emperor, and you killed my fucking wife. You blow down good for nothings. Actually dead. Yes, she's actually dead. She was resurrecting thing, and she's already resurrected once. You can can you blame me for thinking she could do it again? Uh, Claire, you know that is not how whites come into being. It's come into being from unfinished business. Well, clearly her business was finished. (laughs) Well, if she didn't want to get killed, maybe she shouldn't have resurrected a hill giant. He was doing her job. And right now, I'm doing mine. If you hurt so much as one more hair on me, Peppy, I will feed you your own heart! Oh, I won't do anything. That's a god You might have to, though. And he costs a spell. Huh? And the huh? rocks and earth around uh, your father start to gather around him. Growing larger and larger and larger, like a stone suit of armor, almost. Claire, do you have counterspell? I am level four! I cannot get that until I am level five! It is a third level abjuration spell! Do not ask until we have got another level! The Dean knew exactly what they were doing yeah, we, and we, made sure I did not have the counter spell. spell. Counter spell is level three. You only get level three if you're a level five. Fair. <laughs> Numbers! Uh, and Claire, you see the spellcasting focus break. Like this was a magic item. Hmm. Everyone, roll initiative. Oh, shit. All right. Rearbull is angry. Well, I can imagine so. And it's a minus one. All right. There it is. There's the man. I rolled a one. Not 20. (laughs) Actually, your own character? 15. That that twenty though is that's the main character energy right there. Do not oh, twenty some initiative. Do not twenty. Uh, we have to roll. We have to yep, roll. Roll off between Rearbull and Kodru. I thought it was whoever had the higher deck. You have the same decks. Oh, you have the decks. Plus right, one. Well, what, what do we do? Roll off. Just roll. Okay, just so just straight just roll. Just to a, see a, which one has higher. Straight roll. D twenty. Yep. Mm. Five and seven. If we'd got. If we'd got five again, <laughs> it's statistically possible. I've seen it happen. I've I've laughed my I've laughed my butt off at people rolling. Ah, oh, look, we've got two people at seventeen. They both have a plus two initiative. All right, roll off real quick. Those are both eight. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> they just go. They just go together. 
Yeah, we, but we team up. Okay, I, but this is not a video game. Come on, game. Rare Bill, we're gonna team up and beat this fucker, huh? My life is like a video <laughs> game. <laughs> Get copyrighted. <laughs> yes, please don't copyright me. Got it, I'm gonna start singing Disney musicals. I'm going to kill you. You could sing. You could sing Mickey Mouse songs because he's public domain now. I, uh, yeah, uh, specifically. I thought it was specifically. Uh, just Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Sorry, just Steamboat Willie. So you can whistle the song which he whistles in that. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can't fucking sue me, Disney. That's it. It's the turn order. Alrighty. Kodro, you're up oh, first. Oh god, I'm first. Oh, okay, yeah. right. Elemental. Shit, what on earth? Yeah. It is the boss fight against the dwarven band Earth Elemental. And Where did the other guy go? Uh, he's infinite. still in the room, but he's not a combatant. If the uh, Earth if Elemental is killed... he wants to run away, killed, he better start being one. <laughs> like, if the Earth Elemental is killed, does it does it set me happy free, or does it kill him too? Call me an Arcana check. Mm, I'm good at oh, that. Oh, fuck. I would oh, also fuck. like to He's good at that. Out. He's an artificer. Please don't fail me now, dice. Dirty 20. Um you would know? He would he would he might be hurt, but he won't be killed. Okay, earth and elementals, that thing eats a thunder, aren't they? No. You oh. don't know. Ah, fuck. Okay, uh, fuck. Okay, uh, fuck. Okay, uh, fuck. I, uh, I, can I roll, uh, an arcana check on, on them to see if I know anything about, uh, Earth Elementals just in general? Sure! That sounded way too confident. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> there we rebalanced! Of course I, of course I made it my own monster. 22. Okay, you're rolling it there, apparently. This a, uh, apparently, yeah. Uh, to be fair, this is a Dwarven-bound Earth Elemental, which makes it not a normal Earth Elemental, even if it was... Even if I know things about Earth Elementals. It can have different stats, because it's named differently. That's the secret. Um, okay, Earth Elementals, you would know, uh, are vulnerable to thunder. Okay. Oh! Resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. Fucking and immune to poison. Check Shit. Out. I only have one spell that can actually do damage to this fucker, and it's on the literal roll of a die. <laughs> do me like that sometimes. You, you don't have it. <laughs> you, you don't have... It's have not immune to fire damage or anything like that. Yeah. yeah you have well, firebolt. Everything else does regular damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was... Um... I thought yeah. that you could only... It was one of those bullshit game mechanics where it's like, oh, you can only do damage if you have its weakness. No, 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 no that's no. immunity, and it's only immune to poison. Thank fuck. Okay, um... Or well, at least for uh, normal you know, elementals, you don't know. Yes, this is... That's normal. The Dwarven thing might give it extra bullshit. It might give it extra poison resistance on top of that immunity. <laughs> Actually, you don't really know. Know. It it would would be... Poison damage. <laughs> Really funny. I was just smith sniffing a marker when I wrote this up, so who knows? It might be a Tarask in disguise. <laughs> Everything's a Tarask in disguise Hi. if you don't if you die to it. I gotta do I am fucking uh, stupid. Plot twist the um, bound earth is elemental is actually a mimic. Okay. Mimic The Mimic What the fuck? Um Okay, I am going to I'm gonna cast Chaos Bolt. Yep, roll to hit. I'm gonna pray I get lucky to hit. Yes, I aim to hit the thing. Yes. Um, fuck. Okay, no so I have way. to roll. If you, if... I have to roll a two d eights and a d six. First roll to hit. Yes. That's yeah. That's first, something you have to you do. You first need to attack, and then you damage. <laughs> Yes. And you don't have any positives to this, do you? You do. It's oh plus six, yeah, plus six. Yep. Yeah, spell attack. Well, spell I know attack. not you. I know I what you need right to roll. I will be right back. Oh. It was not that. Uh, Never mind. 
You have Fuck subtle sake. spell and transmuter spell, I believe. I have su- subtle spell and quickened. I think. Yeah. Right. Subtle and quickened casting. Yeah, I can't cast yeah. the second one. Uh, Never mind. No, that's the end bad. of my turn. That misses. I trip. I tripped while trying to cast. So. I'm... Yep. No, you uh, miss your attack. Uh, Rear village, your turn. Hmm. You know what this feels like? It would be really good to have. What? A nice big can of insta crit punch. A nice big oh, can of whoop ass. Yeah, you see your conduit. Yes, I'm. Uh, I, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to sacrifice a quarter of my health, so I'm going to sacrifice seven hit points. <laughs> yep. Sacrifice Kodru for this. <laughs> Bringing me down to 18 HP. But in doing so, I'm going to automatically crit the uh, the Earth Elemental with my with a punch. Yep. So what's your ma- what's the max damage on your punch? Eight. So I'm going to do uh, a D8 plus 12. What? Why? Okay. 18 thunder damage. 18 thunder damage? Okay. Uh, And, additionally... Calculator. I need to pull up my calculator because I'm bad at math. They're not as good as any bread. Okay. <laughs> Additionally, whenever I roll... Oh, all right. Yep. What was going on in the background, Goldie? Gold? <laughs> They've been drawn away for a moment. Ah, fair. Yeah. But, uh, what's up? Whenever I deal and whenever I roll a critical success. Oh, right. Caldwell activates because of that. Yes. Oh, 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 yep. So, and, uh. And I choose to. I'm de- back. I choose to debuff the Elemental's armor class. Oh. All Excuse right. Me. Yeah, that can be done. Uh, yep. No, it seems, uh. It seems the armor is kind kind of crumbling ish. Yeah. It's cobblestone armor now instead of Re- stone armor. <laughs> Re- Rearbull is cl- is very clearly not happy. Mhm. Like his like he like the spell happened. Kojo fired off a spell, and then as that was happening, Rearbull just immediately ran up and uh, delivered a booming punch. Yep. Uh, that's with your Thunder Gauntlet, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. That is, that is my turn. All right, then it is Rufia's turn. Okay. I am going to. I be- I believe I have decided that you your bow has been infused, so I believe it counts as a magical weapon. It does. Yeah. And also, you get a plus one to attack with it as well. Yeah. Also, I believe you have a magical arrow as well, so. I have the arrow that creates more arrows, but... Yep. You don't exactly know what that does mechanically, but... But what do you want to do? I'm going to back up Mm -hmm. to, like, the... As far away as I can get from this guy. Oh, no. Not that... I'm just gonna fucking run. (laughs) Um, Do you want to be able to hit him? With my bow, yes. Because that's not that far, then. Because... The room is kind of small-ish. You got you can run into the corridor, but then there will be wall in the way. Is there is there any like ledges or high ground? No. Oh. Like you can see, you can shoot from like the doorway, and you'd be out of its reach at the moment. Yeah, I think that's the best option here. <laughs> I'm gonna... Nope. So I so I get a plus one with the bow, right? Yep. Yes, from my infusion. Yeah. So, so that's a plus seven to hit. Yep. Mm, uh, mm-hmm. Artificer. Then I'm gonna use that splitting arrow. 
All right, yep, first roll to hit. Please don't net one, please don't net one, please don't net one. Dirty 20. Yeah, that hits. Um, okay, R roll me uh, the damage. Okay, normal damage. Yep. Ah, blast, should have cast Hunter's Mark. Uh, is it too late to do that? I can... I'll allow it. Alright. Yeah, we're we're casting Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Damage. So, 1D... Give me a second, I do to check something. This is... <laughs> Yep. Okay. Sixteen damage. Good lord, 16, those rolls. Sixteen damage? Uh, yeah, you fire off this arrow, and it splits into three arrows. Ooh. Oh, lord above. Does it do triple damage? Why do you have 1d4 plus 2 plus 1d6 plus another 1d4? The what the first 1d4 is from the bow's string, and the second 1d4 is from Fey Wanderer. What the fuck does Fey Wanderer do again? Whatever I, I add hit. 1d4 psychic. 1d4 psychic to any attack that hits once per enemy per turn. Ah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Imagine a crit. Okay. So I have to turn and take to account that only a ton of me. Yeah. Um, the arrow splits in three. <laughs> so all, yeah, and three fun. arrows just punch into this thing. Should I roll two more? Nope. D D6 nope. for Hunter's Mark? Nope. It uh, deals. Uh, it, not uh, an extra D6 for Hunter's Mark. Why would you do another D6 for Hunter's Mark? It's already included right there. It just does triple damage, I think. Nope. Also, no. Uh, it does 1.5 times damage. Ah. I'm, not I'm not giving you a triple crit. <laughs> More crit odds. More crit odds. It's also really smart because Hunter's Mark does actually oh, hit on all three of those arrows. So I need to pull up my calculator, my <laughs> handy handy one. calculator again. You have 16 times 1.5. I think that's uh, 24. Yep. Mm, math. Uh, is that, uh, uh, that, that nerfs like ranger and fighter stacking dice, but it buffs rogue? <laughs> Give me a second. Uh... Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Amazing. Got it. Uh, it, is, it is now the Elemental's turn. Oh, shit. Yep. Unfortunately. It is going to make... Let's see. Uh, set the command of this character, so it thinks of his intelligence. It's fairly high. It is going to make an attack against Rearbill and against or if he has far away Kodru. No. no. What do we have roll. to do? Uh, well, I'm going to attack. Bring it on. What's a what's that plus to hit? Oh, that's a fun one. Hold on. Do its attacks count as magic? Oh, wait, no, I am not attuned yet. That's spells. Oh, yeah, it is magic. It's a slam attack. Ah. Go through 11 to hit. 11, so I... Uh, What's your armor cost? My armor is 11. Then and it that, hits. Yep, if, 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 the, if the roll uh, meets or beats the AC, then... Uh, it's a hit. Yeah. Yep. 
plus. Why uh, do you plus. only have 11 armor class? Sorcerer. A plague sorcerer, with, sorcerer. A, with one dex and probably no mage armor. Why mm -hmm. would you play a sorcerer with no mage armor? Because, because it's, it's character. It's a spell. It's also a spell, and sorcerer get a very limited amount of those. Yeah. Uh, uh, their spells you take 14 bludgeoning damage, and it's... 14? Yep. I rolled a 4 and a 5. That's... That's 9. I believe that activates both your things? Yeah, because it, take, it takes me down to 3 hit points. Hmm. Yeah, that activates both of your uh, Calderwood things. <laughs> and uh, oh now attack on rear bill. Fine. Uh, Fine. Look at 27 hit. Yeah, that'll hit. I wonder if it hits. Take seven damage. Oh no! I'm now I'm now at eleven, which means I don't have to worry about going down. Um, and I'm going to need a strength contest from you. A strength. A, a yep, strength. it's trying to grapple you. Ah, okay. So I have oh, to. Oh shit! Is that athletics or just uh, check? It can be athletics if you want it to be. Ah, I'm proficient in that. Yeah, so is this thing. Dwarves. Dwarf energy be like. Mm, that's a six. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't be the fifteen. You are grappled. Ah! Uh, Claire, it's your turn. Excellent. Uh... Kodra just got punched across the room, mm. and uh, rear roll is grappled. Oh yeah, Co Kodra is like Kodra is like currently lying against a wall, like going. <laughs> yeah, no, you got punched by a. Gu this creature is large, by the way, so you got punched clear across the room. Basically. Oh yeah, I got punted. Co yeah. Kodra got punted. He is currently in the Family Guy death pose. Like, yeah. um... <laughs> and and Rearbull is just like basically trying to fight off this thing that's like five times bigger than him. Yeah, he, this guy has, like, well, not five times bigger than you, but, like, a fair amount bigger than you. This thing's, like, I'm gonna say 12 feet tall. I cast Shatter! All right, Squidward. That's a constitution saving throw? I believe so, yes. Okay. That sounds correct. Does it go creatures? Natural 20. Oh. So 25. I will silvery barbs that. spell slots do you fucking have? Well, no it's first level spells anymore. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's an 18. That's, a, that's a, still gonna pass. Darn. Uh, it's hey. a constitution of 20. I'm aware. But it still takes half damage. Yep. Roll damage. Question. If something is yeah. vulnerable to something and it passes a save to take half damage, does it just take normal damage? It still yep. takes double the damage that is earned. It would take double damage, so... Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, it just takes normal damage if it succeeds the save? Yep. Effectively, yeah. Does it I'll, shatter... I'll show you guys the stat block later. Does it shatter also do extra damage against... Uh, constructs. Constructs uh... and creatures made of inorganic material? Uh, yeah, a second. Shatter. Uh, a creature made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on the saving throw. Oh, so it okay. has natural disadvantage. Yeah, I'll and, and roll he's, again. Yes, yep. roll again. That. Is a 15. That is still going to pass, unfortunately. I rolled a 10. Yeah. Ouch. 
This yeah. figure has two very good stats. It's yep. strength and constitution. I knew it had good card. It's just like that's my th that's my thunder spell, baby. Yep, understandable. And it always does damage. Yep. Oh, I I think I also have to do it. Uh, no, uh, I can not hit you. It's a yeah. I can aim the radius. Claire well can enough. like shove it to the back of the room so that twenty foot radius doesn't hit you. Uh, Blair, uh, before you roll anything, roll me a d6. D6, okay, let me... D6, like a d6. And d6, roll... It's a 1. Alright. Now roll the damage. 2d8. That, that feels... That feels Nothing. like that feels like it would probably no, be no, no. for one of two things. Either does Rearbull's father take damage? Yeah. Wait, no. That's or does or, or does it bring down the cave? I'm not telling. Shatter. What is Shatter? I need Shatter. I need one more D8 on that. And a, and I think Dark Sparser might be down. Shatter is three D8. Yes. The application did not respond. Ah, nice verse is down for you. Down yep. for everyone? Um, we'll just roll d20. Sending commands. Yeah, nice verse is down. Yay! Well, uh, grab your normal dice or your online rollers. I've got my, I've got my bricks. You can hear or them very I can roll for you. <laughs> Where's my other D8s? I know I have three of them in here. Dice. Dice, dice baby. I just got my dice bucket. Your dice bucket? Well, uh, my dice like... mimic, technically. Ah, I have one of those somewhere. Anyways. There it is. Three D8. Yep. Four... Really good, actually. Uh, eight, a six, and a seven. Math is how much? We must count it manually. I yes, actually. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, Ooh. dice roll is twenty-one. Half of that is thirteen. And then no. what? It yeah, that's thirteen. Ten? Uh, no, it's ten. All right. How much did you say it was? Originally, 21. twenty-one halves is ten. Yeah, and then he takes double damage, so it ends up being twenty. What the fuck are you on about? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Why would it take double I... damage? Because it's thunder damage. Yeah, yeah and. Yeah, I'm the beat him here, fucker. This, so yeah, we don't get to decide what it's weak to. Okay. Fair enough. Basically, the DM made it not not uh, weak to thunder. Ah. You thumb sucking biscuit biter. <laughs> oh boy, this is an over leveled encounter. Boss fight. Fine. Does Still it... a good question. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's my turn. All right. And it is Revil's turn. You are grappled. Oh, is Koju not? Nope. Can make one grapple attempt. All right. Uh, I'll t I'll try to break free. Uh, yep. That is a strength contest, and your action. Am I allowed to use my uh conduit as a reaction again? You have advantage. If I like, if this fails, can I use it to succeed? You can. You have uh, It's not that is not a reaction. That is just something you can do. Mm, oh, it's bad. How much? Does that beat a twenty-five? You have advantage. I cast silvery barbs. All right. <laughs> okay. What? What it's do you roll with? You can you literally cannot beat this thing. 
Um, unless I nat 20. Nope. I rolled a nat 20. That's a 25. Oh. Yep. Okay, then. Also, Dice Big Parser's oof. back again. Yeah, Dice Parser came back for one. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's 22. Yep. Uh, you're one short of matching. No! No, I'm, You're three I'm three short, short of matching. matching. It's a 25 I have to beat. I rolled the natural 20. Yes, if you if oh, you sh- had you have a plus four, so if you rolled a nat 20, you'd be one short of being able to beat it. Yep. yep. So uh, you are still grappled. That Hi. is your action. But also, doesn't it have to uh, keep me grappled? It has another arm. So it can make one attack. <laughs> it can also... You you realize what the, the attack name is called, right? Slam. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, then. Can someone <laughs> kill this thing? Please. Uh, that would be up to Arithia. It is your turn. I forgot how many of those splitted arrows I bought. One. Oh. You bought one. You used it. Okay. Well, um... Hmm. Wait, did Kodru go this turn? No, this that's, wh- no. that's why I said, w- wouldn't it be Kodru instead? Yeah, Kodru. Well, yep. uh, it's your turn. I, I, yes, forgot about, I forgot about you, sorry. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Co- it's because Coder just, like, got knocked into the fucking wall. He got hit so hard, yeah. we forgot about him for a moment there. No, um, I'm just two is... gates are focused on fight at all times. Anyways. He is going to use... So he's got plus two to AC, plus ten to movement speed, and plus three to spell attacks. Yep. On top of um, his already plus six, holy shit. Yeah, conduit. Plus... Mm. Cobalt Legacy plus one cantrip. Oh, I've done that in mind. Uh, strength of the Grave, make a charisma save to avoid death. Uh, sorcery points three, one per level. Your strongest, your weakest. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, how likely is it that Kodra is going to be attacked again? Uh, kind of unlikely. You've been knocked out of the way, then. Okay. Is uh, right there, and Claire is right there. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try Chaos Bolt again. All right. Uh, his armor class has been lowered because of Rare Bolt doing his bullshit. <laughs> mm. right. So it's plus... Hey. It's a, so it's a, an, a slash... Uh, it's a D, D20 plus... Uh, D20 plus six. Uh, plus nine, actually. Oh, wait, plus what? nine, yeah. Plus mm-hmm. nine. Oh, right. You can make a charisma save to uh, drop the one hit point. Uh, 30. Yeah, no, that's gonna hit. Uh, roll roll damage. Okay, uh, uh, so I'll I grab... need to roll... I roll a... Two D8 I roll plus one two, D6. 2d8s two and a d6. Uh, you can upcast it to make a 2 d eight plus 2d6. Uh, sorry, so I, I use uh, a level That's... 2 spell to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Which I believe okay. you still have. Yep, I do. If I'm going to. to do that. So it's slash R, so it's 2D... Eight. So 2, 2D8 plus... So those are two eights. One and two, for fuck's sake. One and um, two. Uh, do you want to deal acid or cold damage? Uh... Acid, because I... Wait, no, shit. Um, fuck, did you say it hurts the person inside? I said it might hurt, it will not kill. Oh, okay. Um, acid, then. Uh, yep. And then I need to do the D6, so D... 2D6. Uh, slash R. 2D6. Fuck's sake, 6! <laughs> Okay, so nine ash damage in total. That fucking sucks, dude. Fuck's sake. It's still something. Uh, It is in, uh, you know, bloodied. Yeah. Mm. 
it, 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 it has it, it looks like uh doing that again will probably take it out no it's bloodied as in lower than half hit points i know like i meant like all that we've done yeah no yeah absolutely no that will kill him <laughs> anyways just uh, got a crit ever if you your turn if you need a crit then crit it well, let's see. Uh, I am. I'm gonna do the uh, longbow again. Yep, longbow. Dirty twenty. That'll hit. Roll damage. Oh, is okay. So. Psychic and Radiant and Piercing. Uh, da -da -da. Magical Piercing specifically. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Run every day. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to kill someone. Eleven. Eleven. All right. Yep. Oh, take... plus the D6 from... That's smart. Yep. Smart. Seventeen. Yep. Mm, damage. Damage. It is still up. God damn. So, two more attacks. Oh boy. Fine. Uh, let's see. Um, slam beer ball against the ground. Ow. You are grappled, so that is an advantage. I hurt. Oof, out does, of my bones. Does a 15 hurt? Hit. That does not. Okay, yeah, Virbal resists the hit somehow. Fucking hell. He just bounces off the floor like a rubber ball. Yep. <laughs> and an attack on Claire. That's 23 hit. 23 absolutely hits. There is... There, I don't there's no shield any... shenanigans you can do. He's swinging at me with a plus 6, correct? Plus 8. Plus 8. Ooh, I was too off. Uh, you're going to hit. kill me. Hmm? You're statistically going to kill me. I can't block this. Uh, you're going to hit me. You're going to kill me. 2d6 plus that. Am I able to do anything to help? I don't know if I can, but like... No, really, no. Uh, okay, oh. so let's see. You take... Uh... Yeah, you take 14 uh, blood I'm damage. Down. You are down? Yep. Oh, I don't How much health... Did... <laughs> Didn't you have your uh, arcane ward up? No. I uh, spent my time uh, doing other things. <laughs> I didn't realize I was fucked. I mean, I, I, in character, you would have put your arcane ward up, right? Likely, yes. If there is time I, between them. Yeah, there was but the time between events. I, I will allow you to have your arcane ward up. Okay. So that will. I won't die, but I'll. <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah. when, when, when she just said, "You're going to kill me." Yeah, I was thinking. I found I found that weird. Um, My confidence yeah. is also, usually very certain. Also, uh, strength contest. Uh, I'm gonna fail this. Oh, no. What's your strength? What's your athletics or modifier? Uh, I am not proficient in athletics, and I do not have a strength mod. So, so a straight roll. Straight rolls. Hmm. Yippee! Command, command. D20. Now 20. I immediately fail this. There is no way he can... <laughs> this. Um, Even if I'm he... bad at math, but I think 27 is higher than 6. Impossible! There's no way! Claire was grappled. Yep. Oh, shit. And that is the end of the mm. Elemental's turn. Claire, it's your turn. Yep, sure is. Uh, so I am currently grappled. Yep. What does... 
I might have a I might have a solution to my to to, to the problem. Uh, for uh, I am a wizard, and wizards are sources of solutions. I need to. You're, You're a wizard, source Harry. of a headache. You're I'm a source a... of a headache. I am absolute. That means I'm doing the build correctly. <laughs> You're a hairy wizard. Creature you can see. Creature is undead. Uh. Doom, 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 doom. In character, remember he he speaks common, right? <laughs> <laughs> Does he? Your father? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. I cast command. <laughs> Drop. Um. Okay. Let me pull up command real quick. Uh, it does not specify the creature. Yeah, it's it's the wrong it's elemental. Just... Give me a second. Uh, uh, uh speaks a command to a creature. You can see with the rage target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw and a command. And the spell has no effect if the target is undead. If it doesn't understand what things, or if your command is directly harmful to it, it fails. It fails. It fails. Okay. The command. The fails? spell fails. The spell fails. The spell fails. Yeah. Do I know why? Targets doesn't understand language. Because, thing is, this is not Tavirville's father. This is an elemental around his father. In other words, oh. b basically, it's using him as a power core. Yeah. Hilaire, do you speak primordial? Uh, no. <laughs> no variation of primordial? No ignan, aquan, uh, orin, or terran? Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. I know Elvish, though. <laughs> then it fails. Okay, so it it has lost all, it has lost even Dwarvish, which means, peeks around behind him, he has no control over this fight! <laughs> oh, you're... You think me Pappy would just try to kill us? <laughs> like those like those two are just like fucking yelling at each other while they're yeah. being held up by the elemental. Uh Kodro, it's your turn. Uh, Woo! I um And I will So, so people are being held up by the elemental. Claire and Rebel. Ah yep. shit. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to hit them. Uh, you won't if, like, you can... You don't think you have area of effect spells, do you? I don't think so. Yeah, like, if you... Then uh, you won't hit them. If, if, yeah, okay. if, you, if, you fire, if you fire at us, we're just basically, uh, like, grappled. We aren't, you okay. aren't the, uh, shields. So so I'm, just, I'm just imagining the elemental holding you both up by your legs, just like I inside the house. <laughs> also, I don't do that once like that. Yeah. I find them stupid, boring, and uh, not and uh, unfair to martial classes. Fair enough. Correct. I am going to cast Firebolt. I'm like the cantrip Firebolt. Yep. Rolls hit. Oh, D20. Yeah, I didn't put the plus uh, plus nine on that. Uh, that plus would be a 21. 21. It hits. Hard. It's, it's then a D10. Mm-hmm. Next level would be 2D10. Four. Four. Oh. All right. Still up. If we have a repeat of uh, every other boss-like enemy, I swear to fuck. <laughs> it just... It takes down Rearble and Koger specifically. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, Kodri, you're both still up. It's quite sure whining. I, no, I, like, because we were the, like, mm -hmm. imagine if that's how it is. And also, from now on, none of us will be able to hit it. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, then I'm assuming that's the end of your turn, Kodri. Although you could uh, yeah, take yeah. and cost another firebolt. You could. Um. You want to do that? I, I didn't hear what you said. You went crackly. 
Oh, uh, you could quicken the uh, spell to cost another Firebolt as a bonus action. I mean, if you insist, yeah, I will. I'll do that. <laughs> like, I'm, you're kind of new to this, so I'm reminding you of what sorcerers can do. Yeah. All kinds the, of the, things. The main thing that sorcerers 13. have over wizards are metamagic. Uh, you have plus nine, not plus seven, not plus six. Oh, okay, so... But, so it hits. <laughs> okay. So then it's our uh, roll for... What was its AC before I nerfed it? 16. Oh! How much did I nerf it by? Two. Ah! Nine! Hell yeah! I am, I am... My DM brain is, like, locked in, because I immediately guessed he has a, a 16 AC, and that probably reduces it by two. It makes sense. I, it is logical. It's very logical. I need to stop doing it. Uh, rear build, your turn. Ah, I won. Is there even a point of me fighting the, uh, the grapple? You can try. I can uh, roll. Can, can I even still. succeed? Yes. Assuming it doesn't roll another nat 20. 23? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so I rolled a 17. I get free? Plus 8. Oh. Soon do. Sorry. Fuck! Uh. Alright. Arithia, it's your go. Yep, Arithia, your turn. Can I specifically shoot at its arms or no? You can try. I don't think I nerfed the arms AC. <laughs> Rolls a hit, I suppose. I'd like to nerf the AC of just his left arm. <laughs> <laughs> 18 that'll hit, roll damage uh, can I specify this is the one holding rear bull yep, you can certainly do that it is still an arrow though yeah this is a creature made of rock it probably oh. won't. It probably won't break it. Eh, but oh well. Eleven damage. Yep, still up. It's alive. Yep. Is that your turn? Uh, I don't think I have anything else I can do on a bonus All action. All those dice. <laughs> like aside from Misty Step, but why Misty Step? Yeah. Then it's well, the elemental's turn. It's probably the last one he's getting. He's going to do something fun. He's going to throw Claire at a wall. He's going to throw Claire at a Riffia. <laughs> oh! Fair enough. I mean, you were half right. Now that's what I call weaponized friendships. <laughs> uh, Riffia does 24 hits. Ow. I'm guessing yes, then? Yeah. I don't think any of us... I, I'm pretty sure I have the highest AC. Yeah, what's the damage... What damage does a Claire do? <laughs> uh, Claire is that a would probably be weight or somehow. Weight dependent. Nah, I'm just gonna... So I'm just medium. gonna say one... I'm just gonna say 1d8 plus its strength modifier. Which I'll roll in front of the group. Ow. You, you both take 12 damage. That, I'm pretty sure. That downs Claire. <laughs> Alright. Yep, Claire is down. Um, Arifia, how are you holding up? Alive. How much health? 20. Twenty Ranger. Ranger has that D ten hit die. Fucking his take. All right. I am the I am the tank, and I have a fucking D eight hit die. <laughs> you have a higher armor class. Stop yeah. whining. 
Because I got a fucking nice shield. Because you have a shield. I had to break it. None of us are tanks. Yeah. None of us are tanks and all of us are tanks at the same time. No, none of you are tanks. Coder and Claire are just especially not tanks. Um... Schrodinger's it took, tank. It took until this mission for you to even land a hit on Claire. To do damage to Claire. I've hit Claire before. Yeah. That's another point of the tank. And now they're currently down. All tanks get well, hit you know, eventually. They... <laughs> oh, Anyways. Like That's the problem. Claire, roll me a death save. Death save! What? Can I... <laughs> Force feed health potions to downed party members? Yes, you can. Okay. I have one on me, so you can use that one. That would be an action. Yep. Okay. Right. No modifiers. We're not dead! You, that is one success. Uh, Kodru, it's your turn. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, I'm going... To, um, Go. <laughs> I am going. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kodru uh, turns into Sir Robin. <laughs> while, um, while fucking, um, who goes before me? Claire. While Claire is down, um, can they be, like, attacked again? Like, would would there be any benefit to casting a shield on them? I don't uh, think... You can't cast shield on another person. Oh, no. I thought the... Sorry, never mind. I thought the shield was, like... Okay. No. Uh, sh never shield, mind. Is, shield is used to add plus five to your own armor class as a reaction. No, as a uh, note, Arcane right. Ward can be thrown on a down party member, but it's shield not gonna save you. <laughs> never mind. Doesn't doesn't matter. I am That's going. <laughs> I am going to cast Firebolt, which is Firebolt. roll to hit. Mm -hmm. Yep, roll to hit. Twenty-five. Yeah, that'll hit. Hmm. I I wonder if it hits. Ten. How do you want to do it? Hey! Uh, I want to hit yeah, sure the, the creature. Yeah, but like, where? Like, want to take out its legs? Oh, it's, de it, it's um... dead. It's dead. <laughs> you get to decide how it dies. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh... Hmm. I would say, yeah, Kodru, Ko yeah, Kodru, it's probably like the closest bit to him. So he feel yeah, he would... Take go for the aim for the knees. You, you should aim at the legs. Yeah, <laughs> he uh, fucking kneecapped the earth elemental. Yep, mm -hmm. he's kneecapping the earth elemental. Let's go. Yeah, you throw a firebolt at the uh, elemental, and it crumbles into a pile of stone with a dwarf in the middle. Whoa! It has a prize inside. Everyone, make me a perception check, except for Claire, because you're down and an idiot. Incapacitated. <laughs> and as such, cannot take actions. I'm just, I was just going to call you a dummy, but sure. Roll you a perception. Yep. Mm, That's six. wisdom. I'm good at this. Mm -hmm. Perception plus two. I do have an idea of what Reroll's going to do the moment he gets 21. up. 21. You stupid. No, nope, I'm bad. the one that's stupid, apparently. <laughs> and Rehabil? Uh, Rehabil got a six. Hmm. Uh, uh, Rick, yeah, it makes sense that you see this, because this is closest by you. That little bastard is uh, sneaking towards Claire's unconscious body with a knife. Can I shoot what, him? Wolf yes, roll the... it. Don't kill him. You what? Well, to hit. If you want to shoot him, you can shoot him. <laughs> you pull out no, the lock. I'm, I'm gonna uh, kick him. Alright, roll to hit still. 14. Is Claire still dying? 
And that'll hit to deal roll damage. Three. Yeah, no, you kick him across there. You kick him in the chest, and he falls to the ground. And then he. <laughs> I would. Can, can I, I would do, have gotten away thing? with it if it weren't for you meddling adventurers. Uh, sure, uh, Rebel. What do you want to do? As he as he gets to the ground, he just hears the clanking of metal footsteps behind him, and then he gets himself picked up by the tallest dwarf. I think you mm -hmm. and me need to have a wee chat. Claire, roll me another you imagine how actually <laughs> terrifying that would be. <laughs> like. Still not dead. Um, yeah, you pick. I'm assuming you picked him up by like the collar. Yes. Kodru's currently over with Cl uh, with Claire, like help trying to help Claire up. Yeah. Um, I'll get to you. In a, I'll get to that in a minute. Rebel, he just looks you in the eyes. I'm not telling you shit, elf. And he stabs himself in the throat. Jesus. Hey, Ribble is gonna growl and just toss him down. Fine. It's yeah, he's dead. Uh, yeah, Ribble is just gonna th is just going to throw his body at the wall. Yeah, no, it you break a lot. Um, go to roll me a medicine you... check. Medicine. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh. Well, it's happening. Ribble is just gonna go. Fine. If you Fuck, I don't have any to... positive on this, but he Kodru, goddammit, he's gonna give it his all. Mm -hmm. Uh so that's a D twenty, just a D twenty as it is. It's rare mm -hmm. since when rare you do them. Six. Fuck. I I will also roll a medicine check. I have health potions. I have a health potion, guys. <laughs> just feed it to me. <laughs> Feed the health potion. Yeah. Feed me the juice, please. I need a juice box. <laughs> I have a plus three to medicine. But you can literally just feed it and go without the roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna Poor take throat. Claire's potion and just pour it down her throat. Yep, roll me 2d4 plus 2. Yep. My, uh, my, char my character Kodra is just there doing like, ah, yes. The ABS of med Six. of uh, first aid, a bone sticking out of the skin is very bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Six. Claire has six hit points and mm -hmm. sits up in a rather awkward way because she kind of landed tail back, or yeah, basically um, upside down for a snake. Claire, we'll talk about injuries later. <laughs> Hey, Arithia! Yeah? <laughs> you think you got room for a little corpse? Might as well bring proof of- Might as well bring proof of the job done back to me, Dad. You know I do. Speaking yeah. of your dad, he's unconscious in a pile of rocks. Yes, uh, Rearville is just going to unceremoniously toss the corpse onto Arithia's back and then pick up his dad. Arithia puts- the corpse um, under the shell. How much can you still carry with the shell? Uh, how much is the shell again? Um, give me a second. Give me a second. I need to pull the fucking flail snail snap up. I forgot the carrying rules too. Uh, complicated. Strength times fifteen times two for you. Strength times fifteen times two, so thirteen times fifteen. Um, the shell weighs 250 pounds. So I've still got over 100 pounds of weight. How heavy how much is the are, dwarf? How, how much do people normally weigh? Uh, is this a normal-sized person, small guy? Normal-sized uh, person. Human, 
Uh, so they can range in the weight from 90 pounds at the absolute lowest to, I think, 250, depending. I'm going to say he's about 150, I think. I've got 140 pounds. I'm going to say he's 130 pounds, so... Uh. It is, this is a, this is a, this is a, so that's probably closer. Oh no, I'm at half speed. Oh no. Oh no. So, that's what, 55? Like. I am just barely slower than everyone else. You're at the speed of a dwarf. <laughs> Technically, if you use your conduit, which I don't know if you can do, you gain your speed back, because your speed cannot be reduced. Oh. Yep. That is how you <laughs> can that that is freedom. I've still got one use left, and I if think we're at the end, so... If you need to. <laughs> you can go fast. But, uh, be build your uh, dad's still in a, rub in a pile of rubble. Yeah, I picked him up after I tossed the corpse. Yeah. Uh, he is unconscious. Kind of bruised, uh... Little bit of acid damage on the, on his leg, some fire damage, uh, but he is fine. Kodru like awkwardly sidesteps away from Rearbill when he notices the damage, <laughs> like the acid uh, and the fire. He like, just it's like not, it's not back. it's not deep or anything like superficial damage, like a scrape on the knee. Oh, fair enough then. Rearbill is going to just look at his allies and just go. Thank you. And then just walk out past them. Happy to help. Ow. Yeah. Can I... Do, can I... Wait, we have his entire body. We can loot it later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was there anything interesting in the rubble besides the court, the dad? Uh, if you want to check, roll investigation. Also, um... I have to say, like, the burns, uh, you know how, like, your fourth, third, second, and first degree burns? This is fifth degree? No, this is a half degree. Ah. Oh, it's like, fuck all, then. Yeah. Half degree it, burns. It, it, he got, like, he got, like, a little bit too hot. Eleven? Yeah. Um, you His skin is a little bit anything. red. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, it's less than a mild sunburn. I'm gonna look over this cultist's body. I'm gonna loot. I'm gonna loot that body. Uh, well, the body is currently on Arithia's back. Arithia, dear. We can loot it later. <sighs> Fine. His uh, body isn't going anywhere. Probably. Well, it is going somewhere on your back. You get what I mean. But yeah, uh, I assume you uh, guys want to uh, head up? Yeah. yeah. I, I love the party Mine gives me the I, I, I love the random party banter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there is a reason Kodru has a stand-up thing. He... When he's not... When he's not terrified out of his mind, he is quite a nice person to be around. Can I put Kodro on my back too, or is that too much? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. Okay. Can you handle like an extra bag of flowers? Oh no, thirty. He's got. He weighs thirty pound. But, yeah, but Arithia is already encumbered with the shell and the corpse. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he's fine with walking. He doesn't want to overburden people. Quite literally, in this case. <laughs> yeah. You may not fast travel. You are over encumbered. Yep. Oh, so we're just going to sit here for twenty-five minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going to have twenty-five straight minutes of pure silence as everyone just walks through the mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, do you guys want to do anything while? Uh, Walking into the mine. Uh, um, as long as we don't walk into any bars, we should be okay. Okay, because uh, I'm going to call a break here. Like, not right. end of the session, but a break. 
All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'll be back in a bit. Uh, I just need. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get myself a drink. I need. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get a drink. And I'm also going to have a brief thing to continue with my um, costume. Um, um. Yeah, I, I, I need like... to plan the rest of the session. How long there. is the break going to be? Let's say ten minutes. All right, ten minutes. Right. A ten minute break. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Back in a sec. See y'all in yep. ten minutes. That's... I love Walton Gromit. Fucking Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Wensley Dale. You cannot tell me Walls and Gromit wasn't made by Englishmen, so God, I'm blaming you for that. I'm blaming you for the existence of Walls and Gromit. Gold, you're responsible for that now. <laughs> oh, great. I mean, I feel big responsible for Arvin oh, Studios. I wouldn't. I, I like. I'm. I'm not gonna complain about that because being responsible for Wallace and Gromit is like really fucking cool to me because I got to go on a tour of Wallace and of the Wallace and Gromit Studios. So oh, like, you, you got a tour of Ardman Studios? Yeah, we got to go. We got to go, yeah, got yeah, to go yeah. as part of a university trip. Hell nice. yeah! Because you're that's like exactly your field. Yeah, Anywho, yeah pretty much. We, we're studying. Uh, are we all? Are, are we all here now? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Maybe. Perfect. Maybe. Silence. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, after a while of travel, mostly vertical because cave system, mine shaft, dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after a while, you do manage to get up there. Uh, you get out of the mine. A lot of dwarves notice it. So, uh, there is quite quickly a... Oh, just a bunch of people crowded around you. Uh, uh, real was going, hey, hey, lads, I'll answer your questions later, but right now, we have to get me... It's best we get me Poppy to, to the medical stations. Hey! Hey! Go, Doctor Lotton! <laughs> you just hear a bunch of dwarves shouting a bunch of shit. <laughs> and after a while, you do see, uh, you do see a uh, pair of dwarves, uh, a man and a woman, the rock, the, the rock bottoms. Mm. Uh, they uh, ask uh, for to take your father. <laughs> All right, I trust you to take good care of him, just like you did with hey. me, eh? Yeah, yeah, we could. Lad, we we took we took uh, we did the checkups when you were first found on Santa Great Forge. But you can trust us. Of course, I can trust you. No, I got. But I got, yeah, they, I gotta go talk to me dad. Yeah, you do that. But yeah, they take uh, they take uh, his body, his unconscious body, yeah, uh, with them. Perfect. Um, meanwhile, Arifia, you are getting swords by basically every blacksmith in the city. <laughs> I wonder why. Because you, you have a very fancy shiny thing. Uh, hello? Like, ah, yes. Uh, Mom, is that shell if I sell by any chance? <laughs> Real Bell, do we need this shell? Ah, uh, I don't. I don't think even I could forge something out of that. Name your price. Well, I first want to inspect it just to see how see the damage. Go ahead. She don't, offers it to him. Don't yeah. worry, me, don't worry. Everyone here to make sure to give you a fair price. Yeah, like just a group of like six dwarves immediately swarm to it with like. Magnifying glasses and equipment and everything just to make sure, just to look at it. <laughs> I'll just kind of humble, huddle around it, look at it for a while, muddle around amongst themselves, and uh, had one of them just start to you. I'll give you 20, 2400 gold for it. 2400? Hey, 2400. Anyone got higher than 20? <laughs> 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 Fucking rare pull, just like Claire, 
No, no, st- <laughs> no, no fucking with my family. I'm not also, fucking with your family. Also, I'm re- seeing if anyone has a better offer than 2400 gold. <laughs> also, Rearville, you would know that these are both excellent appraisers and two all work for the same people. I, I, I know. He, he's just joking. And honest, and ever since uh, they had got. Ever since they had gotten his father out, Rearbull had gone from gr- from si- like practically silent, gr- uh, grouchy, fucking angry man, back to the one that they, the person that they met at first, just all very happy, always joking. <laughs> but yeah, four hundred seems like a fair price. <laughs> okay, okay, gold. You and clipped also, your mic you're there. Super bad. <laughs> yeah, he just he's just shouting at people to get the fucking money. And also, well, uh, a dwarf arrives with a fairly small ship, actual. Do you open it? I do. It explodes. Uh, they didn't pay in gold. They paid you uh, two hundred and forty platinum pieces. Oh. That makes this easier. I, I, I like nod and hand over the shell. Yeah, but like this shell is ex- is extremely heavy, and nice. they really don't want to damage it. <laughs> so like they grab a whole cart for it, <laughs> that which makes is sense. which is of course dragged by four dwarves. Why you have a beast? Of... How how tall normally are dwarfs? Um, fucking give me a second. I'll pull it up. Because it, uh, it, it's stereotyped to they're short, but like I know they're not always short. So I'm... Well, they are always short. Token did it. Re- Rearbull is the exception because he'll never admit He's... it, but he was born an elf. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, we He's are a, no. an elf. I can't no. believe this. <laughs> so we're like, there, there's just like a cra- there, if there was like a crowd of dwarves, Re- Rearbull is like the what is basically Slenderman in a in a crowd of normal people. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm going to be honest. If that ever gets revealed and like told directly to Kodru, he is genuinely going to be surprised. He, he's, <laughs> he's not like, going like, to be like, ev- oh, I knew. Multiple he's people genuinely have going to be surprised. <laughs> Multiple people have called him an elf in your presence. Yes, but, yeah, but like, <laughs> he's... Um, they range from about uh, four to let's see, mountain dwarfs four to five, hill dwarfs four to five, four to five, uh, between four and five feet tall. Ah, oh, fair enough then. So fair taller than you. I just wanted to know so I had like a sense of scale because I I am a bit taller yeah, than Kodru, uh... but <laughs> thick at times. Ko- Kodru yeah, may but... not have uh, heard that, like, may not have understood them calling Rearbull an elf, like, t- in his presence. But if someone, like, leans in and goes, hey, you know your friend's an elf, right? He's just like, uh? He'd sooner assume a Riffia or Claire are the elves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, half elf. Technically, in a weird way. <laughs> not in the way I, a half elf is a half elf, but you are half elf. <laughs> You're half of you have half of an elven body. <laughs> there's elf in there somewhere. Yeah, sorry, I, I jacked up the scene. I just wanted to I just wanted to sort of know for no, it's it's fine. There's elf in there somewhere, yeah. You could also say that's for Nibbler. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Seth. <laughs> the, the somewhere is in his stomach. <laughs> but yeah, don't worry. You didn't muck up the scene. It, nah, we're, we're all but they are one. still taller than you. I know, it might be a bit weird for you based on how fucking tall you are in real life. <laughs> but but you will. But you have to look but up yeah. at pretty much everyone. Well, that's one uh, of the fucking worst things. Like I'm, re- I'll be reading dead. a horror book or like watching a horror film, and it will be like. The, the killer yeah. towered over their helpless victims. He must have been at least six feet tall. And I'm just sat there like, I'd look down at this fucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how fucking tall are you? I'm six four last time I looked. Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah, my both my my dad and my my dad's side of the family 
are all really tall and my mum's not my my mum's not that short so it, i kind of yeah i are you I, sure I, you're I, not a goliath if i sit on if i stand on my tiptoes i can headbutt door frames i know more people above six four than i know people below five, six feet well you know now you're you know me five seven over here i'm the gremlin I am shorter than Phi. I am also shorter than Phi. Hell yeah, I'm not the shortest person. I am al also, fun thing, um, I am from the uh, land where the uh, average is the tallest. Like, oh. in the Netherlands, like, the average is six feet tall, basically. Yep. Damn. For women. Nah. Damn. Standard for uh, men is like six one. Damn. Okay, wow. Yeah. I actually didn't know that. That's interesting yeah, to know. The, or, well, the average. The average is six uh, one for males, six feet for uh, women. But everyone makes elves, like, weird, either British or, like, slightly Scottish. Who they the should fuck all be makes Dutch. elves Scottish? I wear the Scottish ones here, you please. Also, elves Maybe should not be Scottish Dutch. Scottish. You, know, you want to know what should be Dutch? What? Any race with a swim speed. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> like lizard folk. <laughs> are you saying the lizard folk are the Dutch? Yes. Are you saying the Dutch are cannibals? <laughs> okay, you so I... <laughs> so fun thing. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this, uh, some politician in, like, the 1600s. Oh, no. That allegedly... <laughs> Got killed and slightly eaten. What happened? <laughs> he, well, he uh, got he was killed and slightly eaten. He was being no, a politician. No. He was being a politician. Uh, sorry, uh, so, no, I, so the Dutch, I wasn't saying so that the Dutch to are lizard folk. <laughs> so the Dutch, we can we live around water. We are very fast swimmers, which also makes it uh, us usually able to hold our breath for long uh, times and we're fairly tall which you could equate to being long lizard folk and we have cannibalized someone in history lizard folk long creatures swim speed can hold their breath for a while cannibal <laughs> the illuminati is real look if the, <laughs> the illuminati is real if the shoe fits <laughs> you know, that would be something really fun to do a D D campaign where your species is whichever one closely matches where you're from. Okay, but like, I'd like have stereotypes to stereotypes about your history and things. But I'd have to then I'd have to force every American that plays to be a gnome. Oh. So be it. Tinkerers, which in D D also includes guns. And short. The average height in America is pretty good, actually. actually average height good. for America is still lower than the average height for the Netherlands. I'd have to think about what my what mine would be. Also, America <laughs> America brags about being America so much that they seem like they have to prove something. We're no over, charisma. We're definitely under no we're, we're definitely overcompensating for something. Yeah. Like, you're right. <laughs> but, anyway. uh, and also, Kodro Elf. Uh, Gold Elf. You know what the stereotype for elves and for British people is, right? Oh, man. I, I think if Gold gets call it. <laughs> Gold, you still there? Yep, and I, I know the jokes. We're like elves. Yes, yeah. we're smart fucks. <laughs> You are the exception to this. And we make presents for Santa Claus. <laughs> now that would be the Chinese. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ! Oh! I'm going to get okay. demonetized! I don't even have monetization, I'm gonna get demonetized! <laughs> you're gonna do. You're gonna get de demonetized, so you're gonna get monetized. They're going to pay me for my dark humor! Anyways, dwarf. Back to funny haha, -ha, dwarf land. Ah! 
<laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, but yeah, I. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, can I can I go to my, to my dad and kick down his door? But you can't really kick down his door. Uh, you can open the door. Like right. it's fairly uh, sturdy. All right, he'll. <laughs> He'll, uh... From a uh, long trial and error of what what will this man not accidentally rip off? <laughs> so I'll just like like do my best to like push the door open as fast as I can. And just, uh, Dad, I did it. What was that, love? What was that? I did it. Papi's back. Ah, hey, where is he? Uh, he's, he's with the he's with the he's with the rock bottoms. Why is he with the rock buttons? Ribble will then get a bit more serious. The bastard working for the Emperor used him as a charge for an elemental. I'ma kill him! Too late! I'ma kill him in a stupid boss race! I'm, I'm just... Wait, would I be here with him, or...? Yes, you would be. You I'm, guys would be here with him. I'm just gonna toss the corpse onto his desk. <laughs> Hmm. Or his lack of one? No, he got a new one. <laughs> this is a fairly regular occurrence. <laughs> All right. How long ago did you, was it that you killed him? As long as it took us to get out of the mines. Thirty minutes an hour. Fuck them! We can't live with him so I can kill him again. I know, right? Do, do, we don't. Have... Mm -hmm. okay, do we have anyone who knows to the direction? Do we have to know really no. dead? Damn it! Also, no. Nobody at all. No clerics? Uh, well, we uh, do have clerics. Well, we uh, can, uh... We have clerics of Morgadin, of course. We, we, but... can, we, can, we can use it... We can use his body as a weapon and bash it into the walls. Great idea! He starts to pick up the body... <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone going to try to stop him? Wait, there could be something valuable on him. Let me <laughs> let me yeah. get that before <laughs> you. No, he does not care. So. No. I mean, I want to see if what a strength contest will do. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. Five, five, e. Oh, no. actually, roll that like. Yep. <laughs> Ability uh, score to modifier. Okay, so. Um. 30 is... Okay. Right. Um. Let's see. Slurf. He gets. E20 plus. Uh, yeah, 11. <laughs> he is not proficient. Jeez. That, that, that is that is a that is his pure modifier and yep he is, has a you, strength for 31 you don't even need to roll hun because <laughs> his his role even if he not ones he still got higher than arithia so uh, i got a natural uh... 20 <laughs> <laughs> so what i'm going to say is uh he just grabs this guy by the legs and throws him through the wall <laughs> Rare Bull is just going to be clapping. <laughs> um, yeah. And I need to and I need to specify this. These walls are not just your normal average house walls. These houses are carved out of stone. Like Ooh. very thick stone. So they aren't like they aren't like thatched cottages where it's like stones stuck together. It's just like concrete tombs. Uh, it's like a carved out of mountain. Like oh, diggy it's... diggy hole carved. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. like like diggy, our diggy like our Minecraft houses that we carved into the mountain, and he threw them through one On of our those first walls. Night, yeah, yeah, he threw it through those walls. He did not throw it through the outside wall, luckily. Sort of. Threw it through several uh, built. He threw it through several rooms, though. So my brain just immediately snaps to the scene from Incredibles, where he throws his boss through like fifteen walls. <laughs> yes, yeah, so exactly. Like a wall of holes. 
So yeah, you can now see uh, for like several offices. Well, hopefully he didn't have anything too good. He had information, maybe? He's dead. We Do you have, have back. speak with dead? Exactly. Ah, uh, you could you could have tried the uh, Temple of Morden. Not well, if... sure if he has an intact anything, though. I don't think there's enough of him left. If he you had anything, check. If he <laughs> we... had anything good, it might have survived that. What? What? Hold on, let's go down. Let's go down the hall. We'll get we'll get to the office eventually. <laughs> Yeah, you have to walk, like, seven offices down. Hey. You threw it, like, through half the building. I need to specify this. Is there anything left on him? Like... There's Is barely there... anything left of him. <laughs> There's, like, human paste. So... No letter, I'm assuming? Roll me an investigation or perception. <laughs> Roll me a perception check to see if you see it through any, any of the offices. <laughs> also, I will this? note all the other twenty-four. All the other dwarves that are working here didn't even bat an eye. <laughs> ne neither did Rearble because he. <laughs> this is his dad. He's used to this. Yeah, they knew they worked with basically the strongest person in the universe, in the world at the moment. Mm, nine. Uh, yeah, Arufia, um, where his part of his hand uh, landed, like four offices down, maybe. There is uh, a letter. I'm gonna walk over and grab it. <laughs> yeah. The outs the uh, outside the letter is kind of covered in blood and bits of bone and other assorted vague meat products. <laughs> vague I, meat chunks. It's almost like he got thrown th like at Mach Five through a foot through several fucking w concrete walls. <laughs> Not Where concrete. Was? Not concrete. Uh, give me a second. I need to look up what the. That's a uh, skill of how hard rock is. Oh, Wait. Uh, Fair, it's not just how hard the rock she's is entirely. Just gonna it's like... also its composition and makeup. Because any impurities in it will cause weakness. <laughs> she's just uh -huh. gonna, like, brush it off. <laughs> Ribble is just happy to see his father happy again. That's yeah. completely, un that's completely like, reasonable. Mm -hmm. I wonder how Koju responded to, like, Rearbull's father just throwing this corpse through seven walls. Scared. Fair. He's fucking terrified. He, he would have flinched, like, so fucking hard. <laughs> uh... Rearbull is going to look at Koju. Ah, don't worry. My dad's a good guy. He'll only crush you like a grape, so it'll be quick. He could, with all of you. Easily. <laughs> he tur he turned me into a tin can. He turned you into a tin can? No, he could. Uh, it's like all those seven... It's a 6.5 size, uh, on a Mo scale. Like, that's where granite is at? Um, that... It goes on a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is diamond. So take your own... So make your own conclusions. Mm. Ten is diamond, one is like sandstone. So yeah, the, that's pretty fucking far for uh, going through several walls made of pure granite. Rebel is just gonna like, is just gonna clap before before entering a coffee for like. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, um, Erythia. You, uh, picked up this letter, right? Yeah. You wanna read it? I do. Hey. Uh, yeah. What it says is, um... One of the murderers of your wife was... Was... 
associated with the dwarves. Take out one of. Take someone someone high up and do whatever you need to do to question them. Oh. Signed perfection. Oh. Uh, no, not con perfection. Sorry. Signed conquest. <laughs> okay. But we already figured out that. Uh... Yeah, you know that is the emperor. I'm just going to hand rear build the letter and see if anything else survived. He's just going to he's just going to read it and go, "Well, too bad for him. He did his job, I did mine. Looks like yep. one of us was just a bit too good at it." Indeed. Um if anything else survived, uh not really. <laughs> Oh wait, is, is there a name associated with uh, like on the letter? I didn't I didn't hear. Um I didn't see, but there is. I just need to grab it real quick. I can you guess what I'm doing? Nope. Hmm, inspiration for future foraging. Ah, bleh, uh, I'll, hold on, I'll be right back. Just when I found it. Do 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 Sorry about that. All right. Uh, I did find uh, what uh, what the name of the person is. Oh. Dunar Stone Gauntlet. Stone, Stone Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Mm. <laughs> Anyone watching could basically just see like the fucking light bulb over his head. Does he have his stone gauntlet? That is just his name. Don't worry, I'll make his stone gauntlet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Claire, Rebuild, and Kodru, you can all make a history check. Hell Claire yeah. with advantage. Uh, well, for, I forgot. Was I mentioning that? Yes. Basically, the people that have lived in uh, Glimmerhaven uh, for a while. Alright, and it's, uh, history? A.K.A. everyone but Arifia. Yep, history. Claire with advantage, because, obviously. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's 12. Uh, that's plus 12. Five, plus five, right? That's 12. Come on, Kodru, crit somehow. Get an Please, way. Kodru. A, a history, so I have plus 1. Come on, nat 20, nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. 20. 12! <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Claire, you... I'm going to say you have heard of this person because of your research. Um, Dunar Stone Gauntlet is, well, for one, the conduit of relationships. Oh. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Alrighty. He is also currently uh, pasted in the Dwarven Embassy, basically. He's a slurry. In, in other words, we just killed the con we just killed the conduit of relationships. Actually, I think yeah. Also, I think paste or slurry might be a bit too viscous for how he is. <laughs> he, he is he is just stain. Yeah, he's a stain on the wall. 
I think a bone shrapnel broke the last two walls. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Probably <laughs> did, honestly. I don't think there was much corpse left after the first one. <laughs> But yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I can, I'm terrible at names, so I keep forgetting them, so I need to find it real quick. Uh, I think we're going to not mention uh, this particular cadaver for your father's sake, for um, his sake, or at least his job's sake. I mean, it is fairly well known that the dwarves are not the biggest fan of the Empire. We don't need wars. (laughs) Yet. (laughs) Don't worry. We'll get our war. Like, Claire, don't lie. If the Emperor hurt a single hair on any of your partners, you you would challenge him to a fist fight. Hell, so in fact, you, already, you probably already want to, considering he kidnapped one of your guys. Probably. So, how... Um, Heimdall, we... is, Heimdall is actually going to speak up. Uh, we will. You should uh, probably go check on your dad. Alright. Please, be... <laughs> be safe, and uh, get some... Get, get your table, guys, to fix the walls. Ah, well, it'll be fine. We got the gun with the stone walk after him. All right. <laughs> and then he just runs off. Yup. So, how do we spin this so that we didn't just kill the most important ambassador in the entirety of the capital? I so mean, man. deal with that. To be fair, you did already kill his wife, who was also working fairly close to the emperor. The advantage with his wife is she was at least an undead, and that gets some points off, but this is not. It wasn't known that she was undead, by the way, so... Well, we've revealed it. Most people don't know vampires are vampires until they do vampires. I I have an idea, but I don't know if it's smart for... I don't know if it's proper for Rearbal to do it. What's that? Uh... The, the lovely lady had unfortunately been taken over by undead, and we were forced to put her out of our misery. Unfortunately, her dashing husband uh, mistook us for, the, for monsters and murderers, and so we were forced to defend ourselves from his crazed attack. Also, I will note, nobody in the em- actual Empire has attacked you. <laughs> Yet. Yet. We'll wait until they find out we're not paying our taxes. I. What are taxes? <laughs> you. Uh, oh, thank God I'm not the only one. <laughs> uh... You two don't make enough to, to pay taxes. All right, you didn't need to come out my real life as well as my um, <laughs> as well as my character. Jeez. Uh, Arithi mm-hmm. is just like, what is a taxes? Me just, look, <laughs> me just looking at the, my world notes. <laughs> what? Do, is there like fucking a, is there a fucking conduit of taxes that we have to worry conduit about? Conduit of taxes! Conduit <laughs> of counting. Okay, so I'm looking at a, well, I'm not going to reveal too much, but a conduit of taxation. Fair enough. <laughs> Fuck! Our new power, wrote, our biggest kind of taxation, also known as I the wrote IRS. that in November of last year. <laughs> no matter where you are or what setting, there is taxes, a tithe, or a tribute of some variety that is being paid somewhere. Nothing certain but death and taxes. <laughs> taxes. Yeah. Anyway, she Arisia guys, genuinely uh, doesn't know what taxes are because yeah, she's lived sense. in the forest. Are you guys I going to uh, find uh, Jordan? We're gonna yes. find Hiridim. Yeah. Um, Real though would know where to go. It's the medical uh, building, basically. Yeah. I I am relishing in this in this one point where I actually get to lead, and you know I get to know where the fuck I'm, what the fuck I'm doing. It will not. No last. in quotation marks. 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, you guys come across well stone building uh, with a fair bit, of, fair amount of plants outside actually. If you want a medicine check or a nature check, you can. I'll do a nature check. Because that's an intelligence skill for some reason. That one. Dreams. I got Fine. Three. I guess I'll do it. You guys don't know shit! Don't know shit. Look, to be and fair, was, bought, uh, that, bought me Sylvia's thing. Investigation or nature? The, uh, nature or uh, medicine. Ah. Alright then, nature it is. Yes. 14. Uh, with 14 and self experience, you know these uh, these plants are used in poultices and potions. Epic. Medical stuff. Rearable will will uh, just offhandedly mention that. Yeah, yeah but uh, you are welcomed in, of course. Uh, and um, you are led to a room in this building where you see Jordan uh, sat on a bed. Is he awake? He is awake. Rearville will will rush him and hug him. Pappy! Yeah. <laughs> hey, brother. Uh, what are you doing, home? Uh, also, what happened? Also, where the fuck am I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hospital, basically. Ah! Or hospice. Rock bottom's place, then. Got ya. Yeah, uh... Turns out that, uh, uh, Ribble just kind of, like, very, very subtly look around. Oh, well, you know, no one gives a shit about secrets here. You know that. Aye. Uh, the Emperor. Ah, that fucker. One of his, one of his guys, uh, kidnapped you. When you were- Ah, oh, hey, I do remember that. Fucking top. Prick. Dad told me you were looking for something for something for becoming a mage ceremony. Hey, I was, and a boy will find it too. Well, uh, we uh, turns out that uh, <laughs> t like turns out thing is in the big city. Uh, I'm with an adventuring team. Uh, here, here they are. Ah. Hello. <laughs> He, uh, he basically kind of scoots uh, to face you guys. Hello, my name is Jordan Stormbin. I'm the father of this idiot over here and the uh, husband of uh, the other idiot I'm assuming you've all met. But we have. Yeah. The... He kind of takes a look at you, hears some sort of voice. Did he throw someone through a wall again? Yes. He threw someone through a wall again. Unfortunately, that someone was somewhat important to investigative matters, and we just lost a possible lead. But I'm sure another ah, one he will was come up. Ah, he was already dead. Oh, so if room for uh, oh, him, they will not be pleased. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Just you know, Jim Dill is the uh, basically a builder in the city called Wood of Stonework. <laughs> I, he's he's he ain't happy because well, he wasn't not happy already because when he told me about you being kidnapped and sent me to and sent us to come to come down and get you, he may have broken his desk again. Powder. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I've been awake for a tad bit. Um, I have actually finished the thing. Yeah, yeah. Usually there's a whole ceremony attached to this, but... Oh, it, you're busy, and uh, you got big things to do, kid. And he produces uh, from a satchel on this uh, belt, basically. Which is laid on the bedside table next to him, but, you know. In the... Uh, Give me a second to grab it. I'll put it in the uh, artist nest chat. 
He produces that. Oh. Um, uh, let's see. Vrabel, Kodru, uh, and Claire, yeah. you three, as arcane casters, can all tell, can all feel the magic coming from this thing. Feel the magic! Specifically from the jet two gems in the eyes. Puppy! I... Could this be a belt of your dwarf instrument? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Uh, Rearwell is just going to. Uh, I'll put in the storybook chest. To, to hug his pappy once again. But and do for uh, the people who may or may not be listening, uh, Belt of it Dwarves. It is a. I'll say I love. I may. I spent too much time on this for me to not say it. This is a belt of dwarves. It is a rare belt. Uh, it requires attunement. Well, the tune to this belt, and while wearing, and are, if you are wearing it, you gain the following benefits: your constitution increases by two, and your strength increases by one. You grow a full beard the first long rest after you wear this belt. If you are not a dwarf, you also gain resistance to being poisoned and a plus two bonus to smith tools. <laughs> I I don't think that came up, but I just fucking squealed. Uh, I did not pick up, but yeah. Is I like, have a beard! Rearbull is basically just hugging his pappy about as much as he can without crushing him. Yeah. No, you can you can tell he's it kind of hurts, but he's he's not allowing you to stop. <laughs> I'll make uh, I'll make you both proud. You already have. Rebel will just like will we'll just like take it and hold it gently, mm -hmm. pretty much about pr more more gently than anyone has seen him ever hold anything before. Yeah, it is fairly heavy, by the way. It is like a fairly heavy belt. Thick belt for the family. Uh, I believe my Discord my headphones are being fucked. Give me a second. Uh, oh no. Technical difficulties are the best difficulties. There we go. It's back. Ah, alright. He just went for the family? For the clan. <laughs> Ribble will, will just nod. Yeah. Now, you need to get back to whoever you're doing these jobs for, because, uh, well, what well, always work to be done. Always. <laughs> After all, we're dwarves. If if we ain't doing work, there's something wrong. <laughs> Indeed. Perfect. So, what do you all do? Well, that's... I'm gonna look around the town, see if there's anything of interest. Roll me perception check. Twelve. Uh. Not nothing really you can find that easily. All right. All oh, right. Did I get me forging license? <laughs> uh, you did. Your your uh other your father that isn't currently hospitalized basically uh took care of that. Yeah. So you have your fortune license now. Get your fortune license. Yay! Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> so. Rearbull has somehow gotten even happier than he normally is. Like he's mm -hmm. been he's he's had like the biggest roller coaster. Yeah. So I'm uh, going to assume that you all want to uh, go to the train station and hit back to Cliverhaven. Uh, Claire needs to pick one stop in this city, and it is of uh, it's it's for our uh, educational adventuring. Uh, you cut off there. What did you say? Uh, Claire needs to make one stop before she hits the train station. 
Which is where? Uh, she needs to go talk not to Iridan. Uh, the other strong vein, the one that threw someone through a wall. <laughs> ah, um, uh, I can, don't think I put that name. Uh, Heimdall. Heimdall. Heimdall Strongbane. Yep. Because I have Hirden and I have two strong veins. I don't have the other one. Ah, yep. no wait. Hide them, hear them, and rebuild. Yep. <laughs> Rare Dwarves. Rearbuild who just towers over his pappy. His I mean, can we, to be fair, we got young, warm, you wig, you wig. <laughs> yeah, um, if you Great want. Names. If you want, like, uh. A kind of appearance for uh, Hyodim. Uh not for Hyodim, the other one. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm bad with names. I'm dull. Uh, you know Brock from God of War. Yep. Him, Sorry. but not blue and with a longer beard. More beard. Of course, more beard. It's dwarf. Yes. Thing is, never enough beard. The uh. Honestly, the grow full beard, the first long rest, is is what make it, is what's making Rearbull the happiest. Mm-hmm. Also just have to do this. I'm done looking up at uh, Rearbull. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That looks about right. <laughs> but yeah, like the the main one of the main things that causes uh Rearbull to Basically, not like it. Not like his uh, unarmored form is. He doesn't have. He he's completely clean shaven. Elves normally can't grow beards. But with the belt of dwarves. <laughs> but with magic, <laughs> anything is possible. Plus, he has a uh, dwarven cream. resistance and. Even more Smith's Tools bonuses. He can forge even better. Mm -hmm. Anything can moment. happen. B besides swearing. <laughs> anyway, Fuck. That is... how, how fucking dare you. Anyway, I now have 15 in both strength and con. Anyways, uh, Claire, you wanted to go to uh, Handel. Yes. Handel. Yes. What do? Uh, she's going to uh, politely knock and then just enter. <laughs> yeah, takes you a bit to open the door, but uh, yeah. Hello? Hi, what do you want? Oh, nothing much. Uh, just a bit of a history question. Hey. And I believe you were there for the event. Well, what's the question? During the intermarriage between the current emperor and the former, there was some hey. treaties signed under your name. Oh, hey. Uh, Who is yeah, the what do you want to know about? For them? There's no record hmm? of them. Who is the There's imperial no... signatory? There's no record of them. If they're... Uh, yeah, going to have to translate to normal English, not because I'm not a native English speaker. Oh, fair. Um, what is a sanatory? Uh, the person who signed it. Oh. So imperial sanatory, the uh, person on for the empire who signed the document. My bad. Legal term. Well, uh, that would be uh, what the hell was his name again? G G someone there G. Something uh, with a G. Uh, that was it. Giovanni Hyperion. No. Giovanni. No, 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 no. Eh? Do not tell me that he was the, that he is the conduit of soup. Conduit of he soup. is not the conduit of soup. <laughs> <laughs> He's the conduit of gazpacho. He's got the gazpacho do not, do not tell me that we're fighting against Giovanni Portage. No, it, that is... I will. You do absolutely notice that is not the name of the current emperor. No, it's not. Andros it's... is the current emperor. Andros. Oh, 
why do you ask? Like, I, it's not on the record. That's, that's stupid. No, there's no record for the, any of them. I mean, I can show you the records. We, we got them here. I would love to see them, actually. Yeah, he just he goes into uh, a filing cab, sort of filing cabinet. It's made of rock because obviously, but like after a while, he just produces a uh, stack of papers signed by uh, Strong by a uh, H Strongbane and G uh, Hyperion. Hmm. Interesting. Why would they keep no records of? Thank you, by the way. This has been incredibly enlightening. Oh, Bob. Also, one more thing. Yes? If my son gets killed, I will hunt down every last one of you and break your spines into powder. <sighs> Normally, I'd play coy and say I've had this th hundreds of times, but I frankly understand. I'll try and keep him from killing himself before anyone else can. Please do. Make me an insight check. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you good at that? I'm good at a lot of things. Mm, whatever you. Somehow I doubt that. I'm proficient. Mm, jack of all trades and expertise. Whatever you're bad at, you're suddenly good at. And whatever you're good at, you're suddenly unbelievably, unbelievably amazing, amazing at. Don't ask me to take two levels. It takes Bard for Whisperer's Bard. I will. <laughs> Fucking vicious mockery. It's an 11. Yeah, with an 11, you can tell... You can tell this. Um, this man would have given up on most things if it wasn't for his son. Uh, like, Rearbill is... Going, I need to go for a sec. Oh, okay. yep. is incredibly important to him. Rearbill probably isn't making him happy by the whenever he just constantly, like, <laughs> breaks himself. I mean, in one way he isn't, but in another way he is, because that's just incredibly himself. Like, that's the one of the most dwarfish thing a dwarf can do. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh. So, yeah. I'll try and make sure he keeps in contact. Please do. That'd be nice. Oh, and... As much as I'm sure the dwarves are happy and willing to do so, do try and keep all of this as under wraps as you possibly can. Uh, don't worry. This this will just be known amongst dwarves. Thank you. You know, like, uh, we'll keep this under wraps like uh, the best way to, cra to craft a cooking pot. <laughs> like, I see those Bloody gnomes of that magic artificer uh, do that. <laughs> Rearbull may be an artificer, but that's just. <laughs> he is an artificer, but not in the way a gnome is an artificer. Like, Rearbull's a smith, gnomes are tinkerers. Yeah. N gnome artificers make, make devices to do the work for them. Dwarves <laughs> make thing. <laughs> Dwarves just make. They yes. make incredibly well, but they make. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is not to, like th this, they they make things that just make their uh that yeah, just make. Make everything. Make them better. able to work better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the dwarves were the ones who made the coffee machine. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nah, that was gnomes. Dwarves just chew the coffee directly. <laughs> <laughs> take the take the bean, put in mouth, chew like fucking tobacco. Yes. <laughs> Correct. But yeah, uh, I'm going to wait until gold gets back. 
<laughs> now I'm just imagining fucking rear bull like grabbing a hand yeah. like grabbing a handful of coffee beans out of a tin. Ah uh, yes, just yeah. instead of going to a movie instead of popcorn, just coffee beans. <laughs> At a movie? Yeah. Who's eating coffee beans on a movie? Someone has never had chocolate covered coffee beans. <laughs> Dwarves. <laughs> Dwarves do not sleep until <laughs> until someone forces them. Dwarves don't sleep; they pass out. <laughs> they sleep standard. either from exhaustion or drunkenness. Sometimes both. Usually Sometimes both. both. But they never vomit. Yeah, that that gives me resistance against charm and poison. Charm and mm -hmm. poison. Else, uh, yeah, for, uh, oh, right, right, right. Charmed, uh, oh, yeah, right, right, right. Being charmed, uh, dwarf. Dwarf <laughs> against being poisoned, and that belt also gives resistance to being poisoned. Yeah, before Rearbull was like resistant to being poisoned in like food, but like mm -hmm. if someone stabbed him with a poisonous dagger, he wouldn't have been able to work with that. Yeah, three levels. Now we can. Now. No, but it, like Rearbull was resistant to things like Nightshade. Uh, AKA Dwarven Spices. <laughs> ah, I see we've seen the Dwarven Spice post. <laughs> I saw that before it was put into this uh server chat. Like before it was put into the server. I mentioned it to five before. Yeah. yeah. Also, fun fact. Rearbull is now in is now fairly good at strength and con stuff. Uh, the only things he, the only thing he doesn't have a plus in is wisdom and charisma, which tracks. Mm -hmm. He's pretty strong, eh, on speed, pretty tough, and very smart. Oh yeah. Also, uh, that was a custom-made magic item for Rearville. Thank you. Ooh. I have promised to not give special treatment. I lied. Oh no, I did <laughs> I, 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 I did not lie. Take your, oh. Make your own conclusions. If I get if I got a unique special item made specifically for my character and everything is played fair. <laughs> Bro, I just got just pulled out of a massive <laughs> cock up. We, 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 we I'm just to, looking at my notepad. We get to Kodru, <laughs> and it's just like he gets the other half of the stick. <laughs> that that is his unique item. He just gets the other half of the stick. Bigger stick. So the question is: that bigger stick are now two sticks? <clears throat> it's it's like Pitt's bow. You can. Wield it as one weapon or as two. I'm figuring out all of the Dungeon Master's plans. Uh, Claire will make her leave and meet everyone at the train. No! But maybe kind of ish. <laughs> maybe kind of, sort of. Yeah. Maybe deleted your entire character from the existence of the world. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, Kodru's specific, specific item has three images. Hmm. <laughs> so, we, so we were right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> awesome, you were correct. You nailed it, you nailed it. He already was... has part of it. But no spoilers to what gold. Alright. Alright. And it turns out you. gold has been here the whole time. No, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Forget everything you've heard in the last five minutes. I'm gonna be honest, I literally just sat down as Awesome said that and just wanted to <laughs> fuck with them. <laughs> Great, excellent, amazing. All of you hush not. Don't okay. worry, Gold. We aren't keeping anything from you. <laughs> I just heard something about photos. Yes, we're going to come to your house and take pictures. Yes. That is we're, going to sell you we're going to sell your house. 
I mean, it's not my well, house anymore, so I... I don't care. We're doing well, it anyway. I'm going to sell your house on Amazon. I'm going to, going to sell your house on uh, eBay. <laughs> I'm going to sell your house on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to sell your house on Gumtree. <laughs> <laughs> next to, next to Morgan's bookshelf. Yeah. Hey, and Kathy's bookshelf. <laughs> right, and Kathy's. Uh, oh, no, wait, no, not uh, Kathy's because it went this morning! <laughs> sorry! Uh, oh, like, Kathy, I'm sorry I gave you an annoying voice in the retelling of the story. <laughs> in front of three other people, I recorded my live fucking D DVD. <laughs> no, no, live recorded DND. Ah, that is what this is. Anyways, uh, what do you, do you all uh, want to head to the train station? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's is fairly... already wearing his new be his new belt. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be um, awkward. It's nearing 10 p.m. here, and our dorm room has rules about how loud we can be after a certain time. So I may go borderline silent in a few minutes. Well, yeah. we're going to be ending it soon anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, soon. Then never, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. no, don't worry about it. Don't. No need to apologize. I get it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will say the train ride is a long rest. Ah, and I can attune. Oh my god, I, I can get some health back. You are, all, I'm, I'm going to say you can already attune to the uh, belt. And, uh, long rest passed while wearing the belt. Ooh. You know what that means. Oh. Oh, a, long, a long rest, how much health do you regain? All, all of it. All, all, all your health, all, all your spell spells, 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 everything. Yeah, you... And half of your spent hit dice. Unless the DM says otherwise. Yeah, so I say otherwise, it's all of them. Fuck Got you. it. Yeah, you get all your hit dice. And, thing is, as they uh, are ready to... Like, uh, as they're ready to pull out... Uh, Rear Bull will just take off his helmet and reveal a magnificent full beard. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. He just he, he just like holds it in his hands like I'm gonna spend so much time braiding this you have no idea. <laughs> and uh, I think that's this is where we're going to leave the session. Oh nice! Yep. And that is the end of the narrative arc. Level up, yeah. level up, baby. Level up, Ooh, and no. I believe next session is downtime. Next session is downtime. Which means I have a lot of things to do. And now that I know that uh, downtime sessions don't count towards, like, my you can only do this so many times per narrative arc. Yeah, that's for everyone's, by the way. Like, Arithia's uh, freedom of movement, and, yep, and uh, Claire's... Uh, Spam's... Romantic bond. Zoomies. Yes, romantic bomb. That's the goal. That's for uh, so if Kodra takes it. damage, that gets healed. Also, so. <laughs> oh. oh, that's right. gonna be fourth interesting. Level. So, so a fourth level, I gain a plus two to my proficiency bonus. Oh, we're, we're, fifth um, we're at fifth, fifth level, level now. Yeah. Did you miss a level? We are. We are. You missed one apparently. Did you miss Did you one level? somehow? Uh. Oh dear. My card four. still says I'm level four, but yeah, we're yeah. currently level four. We're yeah, level we're level five. four, and we're le and you leveled up. Yeah, we're going no, to level no. five. My thing said I was still level three, but okay. Oh, no. okay. Uh, that's wrong then. Well, I, get... I believe you just so forgot fifth that level. One. I get um, I get plus three to my proficiency bonus. Okay. I get five uh, no, plus your, three. Your points. proficiency bonus becomes plus three. You don't get plus three to it. Yeah, it, like it goes from plus two to plus three. Yep. Uh, okay. You, so you everything gain that I'm proficient in gains one extra. Yep. Yes. Uh, you gain an extra sorcery point. You uh, get an extra spell. Uh, you get two uh, third level spell slots. Fuck, and you get. And you get magical guidance, which is from Tasha's. Uh, when you make a check ability check that fails, you can spend a sorcery point to reroll the d20. 
Oh, so just a free guidance? No, no, no. guidance is different, actually. Uh, and also, it's a lucky point. But, uh, you get free DM inspiration, but it costs a sorcery point. Uh, I do. I need to. I need to. No, nope, I've got five of them. I I'll probably do the level up after dinner because yeah. I have yeah, to no. go. And yeah, I'm probably going to do level this two, later. And I get level two spells. As, As the do I. And you both get to extra attack, and I get a headache because Claire. <laughs> Claire now has access to Counterspell and Fireball. <laughs> and I don't like one of them. And Haste, and basically half the good spells in the game, up to like level 6. Anyways, mm -hmm. I I shall go. Unless yep, no there's right. something else I need to hear. Uh, you're stupid. Okay. Hey, I, we are, <laughs> hey you don't, you, I'm pretty sure I'm the one you need to tell that to. Alright, talk to you later. Yep, yep. bye-bye. Bye. Hope y'all had fun. I did. And this is go th and this is gonna be great. I'll work on my level up soon. Also, we won't be playing next week because gold has a thing, right? Yeah, I'm at a comic con. Yeah. All right. ah, okay. So we get so two, we'll be so we playing get two in two weeks. All right. Yeah. Oh, um, the weekend afterwards, I don't know if I'd be available either because I think my parents are coming to visit. Oh dear. But I need to double check that. I will keep you posted regarding that. Alrighty. I might be able to prepare a one shot then. Shut through the heart! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I might drag heavily into it. Yep. Alright. Bye. Bye. Bye.